Hey guys, and welcome to another video. Alright, before I even start, I know what you guys are going to say. Julian, if you don't enjoy Animal Jam, why do you play? Let me just run you through that first. Um, Animal Jam is a great game. It's given me a lot of memories. There are just certain aspects that I disagree with. I don't personally play the game at this point. Um, I'm getting a little old, but I know that a lot of people enjoy watching my videos, and I know that I enjoy making them. So, I want to keep making those, and that's a part of Animal Jam that I really do enjoy. And... I'm sure you guys have noticed, but one of my favorite parts of Animal Jam is offering critiques. So, speaking of offering critiques, the first thing that I want to talk about here today is the brand new animal, the Lynx. Okay. Why does this have to exist? Okay. Like, uh, sure, it's maybe cute, but it's going to be one of those things that people are going to use for a week after it's new and just forget about. How many llamas, how many cheetahs, how many lions, how many, I mean, maybe owls. Just like looking through this, I mean, people play Arctic wolves, maybe eagles, maybe owls. That's, that's about it. it. Animal Jam doesn't need to release this many animals. And there's a problem. You can just be like, oh, Julian, you know, people aren't going to play it. It doesn't matter. But it does matter, okay? Indirectly. Because if you look through the shop, Animal Jam releases items. And people wonder, like, oh, why can't Animal Jam release items as fast as, say, other games like Club Penguin and things like that? Um, I have not personally played Webkins, but I'd imagine that they release items at a slower rate because Animal Jam and games like that, like Webkins, have multiple, multiple, um, what do you, multiple, uh, characters to put all these items on. Because for every single item they introduce, they have to put it on all of these animals, they have to fit it to that, and then they have to fit it to all of the diamond shop animals. It's, it's ridiculous. It's, there's no point in having ridiculous animals like these. Just, to animals that no one's going to play. I understand that a big aspect and a big draw of Animal Jam is, oh, you can come and you can be your favorite animal. But, um, I just feel like a bigger draw would be you can come and choose from thousands of clothing items rather than, you know, a few. And, um, yeah, there are just so many little things I feel like Animal Jam could change, or if, you know, if they spent more time doing something like releasing more clothing items, giving you the option to choose, like, you know how you can choose multiple colors for your animal here? Why can't we do that with clothing items? It seems so simple. Obviously, Animal Jam has the capability to do it in their headquarters. Why can they not allow the players to do it? It's little things like these. I mean, it adds more creativity, diversity. It's just, it's something we really need, and it's something that I really feel passionately about. We don't need animals like these. We More animals is not a good thing, okay? You can only be one animal at a time. The second thing I want to talk about is the diamond shop in general. Yes, Animal Jim's a company, and I do in general agree with the concept of the diamond shop, but... Okay. Non-members exist. You have to acknowledge it. If you want people to play your game and to get into it and to try the demo, you have to offer them something besides, you know... What is it? Oh, oh my god, Animal Jam's at its fifth anniversary. I've been playing this game for five years. Oh, crap. Oh, I can't even click right now. I haven't played video games in so long. All right. Um, Animal Jam's at its fifth birthday. And you know what they're offering non-members? Five-year-old content. Not, not like, five-year-old people content, but, like, content that is five years old. There's, no one wants to play the old wolves and things. Mm -hmm. No. And with every animal that they add, not only is it more intimidating for new people joining, it's just more difficult for non-members to get up there because they can't get these animals and they see everyone else using them. Like, it's just not fair. If you want to attract new players, you have to release things for them and have an incentive to play the game so that maybe you can encourage them to pay money later. But the idea here seems to be get people to pay and make them so jealous of everyone else that they have to pay. That you don't want to force people into paying like that. You have to introduce them to this new environment and give them things and slowly, you know, build their trust and then offer them the chance to get more. Not like, oh, you log in and your buddy wants to send you something and, ah, no, you can't do it. Oh, you want to get a new animal? Ah, can't do it. Oh, you want to change the color of your item? Nope. Nope. Just can't do anything. You can just, like, sit and you can watch everyone else have the fun with their sparkly rainbow tail armors. And you can sit here as a little wolf and wonder why your trade list has non-member den items on it. Thank you, SuperY14, for being in my video. Thanks, bud. There are a lot of things I could rant about on Animal Jam, but I feel like we get new animals so much that are four members that cost real money that actually take away from the game. I don't know. I feel like, at a certain point, this is just selling out. Like, offering the cute little links they have to pay, what, like 10 bucks for? Yeah. 
more than that, actually. It's 10 diamonds. People are like, oh, it's easy for you to say you have so many diamonds. You know why I have so many diamonds? Because I don't buy any of this diamond shop stuff. I'll play with my horse, okay? That's good. I don't need all these new animals, okay? What I want is new items, new colors for my horse. I don't, I don't want to play Lynx. Okay, bud? Okay, I'll never get this when my Lynx becomes my new favorite animal. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Um, as I always say to Mia, sorry for ranting, but... I feel like this is an important subject, and something I've wanted to talk about for a long time, but I wanted to wait until an animal came out, and so, yeah, thank you for watching all the way through, it really does mean a lot to let you sit here and listen to me rant, I hope I can change some of your opinions, maybe Animal Jam sees this video, hopefully not, it's kind of embarrassing, but, thanks for watching, see you next time, bye.